everybody! My name is Rachel and welcome to my channel, Kalanadi. Today I'm going to review a novella, Binti by Nettie Okorafor. I did receive this novella for free from the publisher, so thank you to Tor.com for doing that. I appreciate it. And this is my honest review. The novella begins when Binti, a young woman of the Himba tribe in Namibia, is leaving her home secretly at night to go to Umza University against her family's wishes. Binti is a very, very gifted mathematician, or what her people call a harmonizer. But the Himba do not believe in leaving home or going out into the universe, so Binti is the first Himba to ever be accepted into Umza University, and the first Himba to leave Earth, because the university is actually another planet. However, on the ship to Umza University, Binti is witness to all of her classmates and other people on the ship being massacred by an alien race called the Medusa. But Binti survives, and the question is why. She thinks it's because of this uh, piece of inner technology that she calls an Edan. It, she doesn't know what it is, but she does know it's technology, and she's trying to figure out how to make it work. It appears that the Edan is what saves her from the Medusa. They don't want to come near her, but it might also be something else about her and the Himba traditions that she follows. Binti now needs to survive on this ship, days away from help and surrounded by hostile aliens. I was so impressed at how immediately the setting of this story came alive for me. Akorafor does a really good job of introducing uh, the traditions of the Himba people, of describing those to you, and then melding it with this futuristic science fictional setting that's heavy on technology. I'm going to show you a, per a person, an actual Himba person, with the um, red clay and oil mixture that they use for their hair care and their skin care. I want you to look at this person, and I want you to imagine a Himba person on a spaceship doing math, talking to aliens. It's beautiful. I really liked Binti. I really liked the struggle that she has with um, leaving her family, leaving her home. Um, her people are described as very inward looking, very private. They um, are obsessed with innovation and technology and mathematics. She has a family history of being a harmonizer or a mathematician. It's an immense source of pride for them, but they are very self-contained about it. They are apart from other people and they are unfortunately judged. Of course, people look at them and think about them in negative ways. And Binti, like, she wants to be a part of this. These things are important to her. Her connection with her home and her people are important, of her, important to her and they're part of her identity. But she also wants to look outward more than is what would normally be accepted for her people. She wants to go to the university. She wants to do more. And she has to find a way to reconcile these two desires and bring her heritage with her while exploring new territory. I just think there's a great message there about how Binti can take her home with her and her traditions become tools for her own protection and for her own strength. I also loved that mathematics is a key element in this story. There's a lot about the beauty of mathematics, the harmony of mathematics, and our main character is an unapologetically gifted mathematician who's a woman, and there's no prejudice against her for being a woman in the sciences in the story. And I, I love that. I love that attitude. It's something I want to see more in science fiction, just this natural acceptance that of course women can do exactly what all the men do in the sciences. This was an excellent science fiction novella. If you want to read shorter SFF, I definitely recommend this. This is one of the best novellas I've read all year and I would highly recommend it. I'm really impressed by what I've read by Akora for so far. I've also read Lagoon by her and I really liked it and I want to read more of her stuff now. That's it for my review of Binti by Nettie Okorafor. I hope you guys will consider reading this novella and letting me know what you think about it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will talk to you again in my next video. Bye.